Shotgun. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. <laughs> Look at all these bodies. Let the bodies hit the floor. We'll have to check it out. Yeah, first though, let's see if we can find another first aid spray. I kinda like those extra lives. Wait, is this? Dante's Inferno? Yeah, I think the book was Inferno. No, part of the Divine Comedy. And, um... That was what went on to the Gates of Hell. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. Umbrella's End 2 has been unlocked, as well as some other stuff which I didn't bother reading out loud for once. And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to replay the first level a few times so I can actually have some ammunition for my shotgun. But before that, let's go ahead and read the archives. I know, I know, boring, but I like doing it. So just bear with me, okay? Umbrella Raccoon City Judgment. After the Raccoon City incident, the U.S. government issued an order for Umbrella to cease all and desist all operations. In response, Oswell E. Spencer hired the best lawyers money could buy and prepared false witnesses to try and create the appearance of a conspiracy with which to turn the public opinion away from Umbrella and toward the government. Survivors of the incident presented their testimonies with the lack of evidence, most of which had been wiped out in the eradication operation, and the withholding of testimony by government employees who feared being implicated, made the case drag on without a conclusion. Talos Project Proposal Next Generation BOW Proposal Arclay BOW Research Team The success of the T-002 Tyrant experiment has shown us the progress towards a marketable humanoid BOW is moving along nicely. However, we must strive to continue the research and development of cutting-edge products to satisfy the varying needs of our clients. The plan that our team proposes is as follows. 1. Tuning Control Synapse Connector the current risk with deployment of T-Virus based on weaponry is lack of control. Sudden cellular mutations can result in the halting of functionality, impairment, or judgment, and the various other conditions reported in the past. In order to enable the safe transport and deployment of this weaponry, a more stable solution is essential. Our sixth research lab in Europe has discovered one method of control by using organic parasites. We would like to pursue a more consistent result by using chip connections to brain cells. We are in the final stages of testing and feel confident in the likelihood of product realization. 
2, Enhancement of Combat Functionality for Land-Based Weaponry. The Tyrant boasts a combat, a combat prowess and survivability that far surpasses that of even the best trained combat troops. However, it is still only theoretically capable of successfully deterring roughly one military division. When facing AFVs, or whatever that is, or military-grade helicopters, its kill ratio begins to falter. By arming the Tyrant with specialized combat firepower and armor, it will become more fit for the variety of situations it is likely to face in the field. In the past, the ideal has been to leave the Tyrant unhindered by additional equipment so that it can maximize its two strong points, motor performance and response reflexes. <coughs> However, the use of enhanced armor modules, internal reinforcement implants, long-distance homing weaponry, etc., could preserve the natural abilities of the Tyrant while maximizing its options in the infield maneuvers. The potential for this enhancement is fast becoming a reality. When complete, it can make the Tyrant the ultimate all-in-one combat package. I can breathe! Even after the mansion incident had ended, the cannibal disease, T virus, had spread to Raccoon City, plunging it into a state of panic. The city was quarantined while RPD officers and UBCS soldiers attempted to rescue its citizens. The situation grew even more desperate, and the possibility of the virus spreading beyond the quarantine was growing. The U.S. government was concerned. It called a nationwide conference to discuss the next step. They formulated a plan for the complete eradication of the city. In compliance, on October 1st, 1998, the military launched a strategic missile into the heart of the city. Raccoon City, with its 100,000 inhabitants, was forever wiped from the face of the earth. That's all the news for today. I shall see you in a little while. Okay, let's continue. Umbrella's End 2. Uh, which of my many weapons should I choose? Yeah. Alright, may not be the best, especially in this area. Might be a little bit too low level. I don't know. But. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. The concealed elevator led to a point hundreds of yards beneath the Earth's surface to an imposing facility designed with the exclusive purpose of mass-producing BOWs. Do a little dance, buddy. Alright, no more playing around. Gosh, come on. It's a good thing those aren't vomiters. I'd probably be dead by now. That's a long way to come down. Uh, health. Need. Health. How are you still alive? 